Hey folks, it's Dave back here in a uh, blistery cold Studio B. <laughs> yes, it is. It is really cold out. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to come on tonight here and uh, do a quick video. Hopefully it's going to be a quick video on how to uh, input the stats into PC Replay Baseball. And I might have already done this, and I know a couple of people did, but um, there's a couple of people that have asked about, uh, you know, what, uh, what I've been posting, basically my pocket pennant run, which is a, a really fun game. And that, and also... Um, uh, Apple Baseball, I've been playing a little bit of, and I've been really enjoying that. So people have been asking me, uh, you know, what is it, uh, you know, how how'd you get the stats in there and the whole bit. So let me just um, show you that right now. I'm just kind of setting things up so I don't get any uh, fuddy duddies here in the chat room, okay? Uh, I'm going to try to do this quick because Al's on at 7 o'clock. Uh, if you're not subscribed to Al Red Sox fan, go check out Al Red Sox fan. He's uh, got a chat coming on tonight. Uh, I think Kirk Berglund's on. I forget who else is on, but I, I definitely want to go and, and uh, hear that chat tonight. So I'm going to jump in and off here real quick. But I do, you, I do, do, I do want to show uh, what's going on here and how to set this up. And I won't do the whole game, but I'll show you how it how it plays, how it does. All right, so I'm going to have to go to my uh, super secret screen here. Uh, here we go, and now we're done here. Okay, so here we go. So I'm going to be off camera for this. I'm going to show you how to set this up from scratch. All right, I'm going to use 1978. You can't see this, but you can hear the paper in my hand. I have the paper of a game that I already did in uh, APA Baseball. And you can use any game. Any baseball game you want, you can use and just input the stats. So let's go to new exhibition game. I'm going to go to 1978 because that's the year that I used. I had it Boston at Detroit. And again, you have to have the season now. The thing is, you have to have the season for PC Replay Baseball for this to work. Because obviously, you have to call up the season. So you can't just use any season. You have to have an available season in PC Replay Baseball. So that's probably the biggest caveat here. Uh, you want to make sure that you got a designated hit a select hit a selected here at the bottom because I screwed up before and did not have that. You need to name this here. So it's going to be my 1978 uh, test video i'm just just what's going to call it it's going to be a, a best of one this is going to be a one game here and the date this was actually played on may 21st 1978 this really doesn't matter it's mostly cosmetic but <clears throat> you can have that in there in your box score all right so boston at detroit 1978 designated hitter everything over here on the right looks pretty good so let's save and get ready to play this here all right so my 1978 test video so now I want to come over here to play. Don't worry about anything else. You want to be on your schedule, so you don't want to be on replay or something. You want to go to your schedule, and then let's start this up here, <clears throat> okay? So let's go to play. If you go to quick start, you're going to screw it up. So go to play. Go to play. Now, you're at your pitchers. So now we got to get our pitchers. If you click over here on the left, you got Detroit and Boston, okay? So we're going to start with Boston. Now, it's already selected Mike Torres, but for me, when I played this, it was Bill Lee. So double-click on Bill Lee. And Bill Lee will come over here. Go to Detroit. And it was Wilcox who was pitching in this game. So I'm going to double-click on Wilcox. And now Wilcox shows up. So we have the pitchers. We have Lee and Wilcox. So we're all set. You have to make sure that that's good to go because once you click away from that, you can't fix it. So make sure you got your pitchers all set. To click over here on the little pitcher icon. And that's going to bring you now to the batters. And now this is where we set our lineup. And it's just click. So I click on Burleson. He's here. Click on shortstop, and he was the shortstop. Then I had Jerry Remy, who hit second. He was second base. Then I had Jim Rice. Jim Rice was in left field. And it's just this simple here. You're Skremsky, first base. And this is, and again, you know, as long as the guy's over here, you can put him in any position you want. You're not limited. This is like all manual mode, which is really nice. So Fisk was my catcher. And then I had Freddie Lynn. Obviously, he is in center field. Butch Hobson was my third baseman. And then I had Evans in right field. And then I had George Scott hitting last. Don't ask me why I had him hitting last. It's just kind of how it worked out when I played, okay? So I'm, I'm just showing you how to do this. Don't pick up the lineup, please. So now I'm going to click on Detroit. And I'm going to do the Detroit lineup. And they had Ron LaFleur, and he was the center fielder. So we're going to put him here. And I like how when you click on the positions here, it disappears so you know that you need to put in some positions. So we had Wagner. Where is Mr. Wagner here? Here is Wagner here. He was my shortstop that day for Detroit. Rusty Staub was in the game. All the guys I remember when I was a kid, he was the D8. And then we had Thompson was over here. 
And I get this was my first game of Apple that I played in full, and you can use this with any game at all. I was using this, my, I am using this for my pocket pennant run uh, World Series with the Yankees and the Astros. So, again, any game you got, as long as you can put in the stats here, as long as the guy's in the game, and most of the guys are in the game, and I think if you sometimes, if you have to, you can make a trade in this game here to make it work out. It's not going to be flawless because, again, you're crossing uh, you know, over from one game to another, so it's not going to be flawless. And uh, third base, I think Rodriguez was third base, and then Dillard was the second baseman. So, um, But if you have to, sometimes just go in here and check before you do this. Go in and check and make sure that you have everybody. All right, so I got Boston. I got Detroit, my pitches, my lineups. Now hit the baseball, and there we go. Make sure these are all unchecked. You don't want the AI doing anything because you're going to go completely manual. I'm going to hit, hit this, and let's play ball. Now, if I hadn't played this game already and I was rolling dice, I could play live right now. And again, I'm, I'm, I'm off screen because I'll be in the way if I put the camera up here. But if you would, if you could play this live, so I could roll the dice, see what Burleson did, and log it in. However, I've already played this game, so I have the score sheet right in front of me. And let me show you how fast this goes. So you click on the pencil. This is how you input the stats manually. So Burleson, he was up. He had a fly ball to right field. Fly ball in right field. Uh, Remy doubled. Rice singled and scored him. And then a fly ball to center by Yaz. And then Fisk hit a ground ball, 5-3, and, and that ends the inning. That's how fast it goes. LaFleur come up. He flew, to, he flew to right. We got a line drive right at first base. Uh, we got a single, and then we had a strikeout. Where's my strikeout? There it is. And now we go to the second inning. That's how fast you can log in stats in this game. Uh, let's see. Freddie Lynn singled. And then we had a strikeout, a strikeout, and a ground out, 6-3. to three. We go to the bottom of the second. We had a double. Then we had a home run. So the uh, Tigers go up 2-1 to one on a home run by a walking fuss. Parrish singled. Then we had a strikeout. And then we had a 6-4-3 double play. We go to the top of the third. This was a big inning for the Sox here. I think everybody pretty much hit around for them. So we had a, an E6 to kick things off. So uh, in the third, it was Rick Burleson leading things off. So we had an E6. And then we had an E1. And I think Burleson stayed at second from whatever it was. So we got E1. So now we get first and second. We had a fly ball to left. Nothing happened on that. We had a, um, a fly ball to, I think that was right field. And that is that. So now with two outs, we had a double by Fisk. And that scored a couple of runs. And then... We had, uh, I, actually, I could send Remy home, actually, if I went into, so let me erase this. There's an undo play that's really nice. So I'm going to go to my detail screen. I'm going to go to a double, and I'm going to have uh, both of these guys go home safe. So that's how you would adjust that. So if you need to get into more detail, you can come over here to the detail screen and drop this in. So now Fisk gets at second. Freddie Lynn singled and scored Fisk, so that S-plus is a single, and that gets an extra base for everybody. Then he had a strikeout. So the Sox were leading 4-2 to two after uh, the top of the third. And then it was a pretty simple inning here. We had a fly ball 6. We had a pop out 5. And a ground ball 6-3. And we go to the inning. And that's how fast this goes. It goes. And if you need to change pitches, I mean, or anybody here, just click on here. Or click on the mound. And then you could change your pitcher. So, so uh, it, later in the game, I did that. But that's how fast this goes. And just boom, 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 boom. I was able to, to put that in here, go back to Studio B. That's how fast it goes is, you know, go into your season, load it up, put in your, put in your pitches first, then your batters, and then just start firing away. And um, you can play live. You can play any, any game you want. You can play as long as the, the, the rosters match up. You just... Just put in the stats like I was doing. After the fact, it's fun because you can go really fast. You see, I already had three innings put in in you know a couple of minutes, so I can I can input a game in probably three or four minutes if I really kind of fly through it. So I got my score sheet here. Again, it's all all done up, and I just follow along and put in all the stats. So some people are asking me, you know, how was I getting the stats in? That's how I get the stats in is using PC Replay. The key is the season. You have to have the season. PC Replay doesn't have every season. So if you wanted to play. Uh, 81. I don't think they have 81. 
So if you wanted to play 81, they don't have 81, so you couldn't use it. But as long as you have a season that they have, you can use their their program, put in the stats, and it's good to go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fire up 1980, I think all over again. I think I started 80. I'm going to reset it. And I'm going to play some with PC Replay, some with Apple, some with Strat, some with Pocket Pennant. And if I can get History Maker Baseball working, I'll do that too. And I'm going to have a, a nice Calico Replay of that season. And I'll let well, – the beauty about PC Replay is it sims games, as you know. So I could sim ahead a, a week, pick a game of the week, play it with my favorite game engine of the day, play it, log in the stats. So I feel like I'm contributing to the replay instead of just, you know, just letting the game do itself. But, yeah, so it's so versatile. PC Replay Baseball is so versatile – uh, again, you do, you do need to have the season. I keep, I, you know, just want to make sure that's clear because I don't want somebody to buy the game and say, I tried to play this year and it wasn't there. No, it's not there. If it's not there, it's not there. So if you buy the game, check on the seasons that they have. Make sure that you have the season purchased in the game. And then once you have the season, you can play any game you want in PC Replay Baseball. So uh, just a quick video here today kind of going over that. I know some people also have um, done videos on this, but it doesn't hurt to do another one there. So that is that. Uh, again, Al Red Sox fan coming up in about 15 minutes or so on his channel. So I'm going to tune in and watch him as I play something here in uh, Studio B. I might even be in Studio C. As I, I'm going to watch on the iPad. I'm going to use the big table tonight while I watch Al do that. So anyway, I'm Dave. I hope the, this video was helpful for you. 